Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 16th of May 2025. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life and uh, getting ready for the weekend. Um, hopefully I'll get out three games today. I'm not sure that I will, but I will do my best. Couldn't do it yesterday. I was just too busy yesterday to get out a third game. Um, but I, I try to get out three games every day if I can. But anyway, uh, what have I got for you now? This is the Guardian's hard level Sudoku puzzle for Friday. Um, in the UK, there are some vile companies. One of the vilest companies must be Thames Water. Uh, this, you know, was formed, of course, after the privatization of water authorities from many years back. And uh, it's a company that's been doing really bad things, polluting local wa water supplies and stuff like that with sewage. Um, they are in deep trouble, you know, having paid millions and millions of pounds to the executives and shareholders and not investing the money into infrastructure. Uh, they are now facing or have uh, uh, got themselves an emergency three billion pound loan and uh, it looks like they are planning to give a lot of it to their executives uh, I'm talking about 50% uh, bonuses of salaries um, because it's this is a quote senior managers are its most precious resource no these people are failures these people have done terrible things the, this is just so disgusting. One of their executives was paid £195,000 bonus for three months' work. It's just it's just outrageous that this, this goes on. Um, you know, people should be, should be shouting in the streets, demonstrating in the streets against this awful corporate behaviour. Um, this capitalism gone wild. Uh, it really is disgraceful and the Labour government should be, the, apparently the MPs are going to have some kind of power to try to stop some of these bonuses. But I mean, you know, emergency action is needed. Nationalise all public utilities now is what I say. And I'm sure lots of people agree with that. The rubbish of the Thatcher years, the, the lies of the Thatcher years are over. Let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Right, let's find a number then. And I'll do that for you shortly. A number will appear as if by magic. But it's not by magic, it's by logic. When I say a number will appear, I might be overly optimistic. Surely a number will just flash itself up to my eyes as it normally does. Or not? Hmm. Where is the first number? Come on, come on. All right, I'm going <laughs> to click on the numbers one by one and go through like this because I'm not seeing anything at the moment. But there must be something easy, surely. This is the Guardian. There it is. <laughs> okay. There it is. What took us so long as Shalimar once sang. I think it was Shalimar.
I really not getting any other easy stuff? Wow. It really looks like I'm not getting any other easy stuff here. So, I'm going to have to start looking properly and without a nice, you know, flurry of uh, digits at the beginning. I'm going to have to start looking properly. That's un very unusual for the Guardian. Oh, I see. It is the 8, actually. We've got 8 blocking this square, and this square, and this square. So in this column, there's an 8. Three blocks up here, three across there. There's a 3. back down this seems like we're forced being forced in a <laughs> in a particular route because nothing else it seems like there's only one possibility uh, I could be wrong on that of course but um, that's how it feels uh, okay what are we left with down here one and five Actually, I just realized there was a little bit more with the eights to go. All right, let's go around again, see if anything is changed okay so now we've got one blocking up here and across here like this or maybe we had it before but we've now got ones in one of those two squares blocking across here across here that gives me a one there Five blocking this square and this square, there's a five. Missing digits here are two and six. So we've got six blocking there, there's the six, and there's the two. Six going down to the bottom here and across there, there's a six. Two blocking across there, and there's a two. 
two blocking down here, so two in one of these squares here, blocking across here, across there, and down there, and there's a two. One, two, and six blocking up here. That means that one, two, and six are in those squares, and the last number here has got to be a five. Five and three block across here, five and three block across here, five and three block up here. So we do have a pair of three and five in those squares. That may or may not be useful, but it is something. That's three and five. Um, do we get anything more? I'm not sure. We might come back to that later. Or maybe I should just have a quick look across here. We've got three and five, so we're looking for one, two, six, seven. Is that right? One, two, six, seven. One, two, six, seven. I think that is right. Three, five. One, two, six, seven. So we've got one, two, and six here, so that's going to be a seven then. Uh, let's just go back to going around, I think might be the easiest way now. like this missing digits here are seven and eight missing digits here are five and nine but we've got none of those over there Uh, we've got seven blocking those squares, so that has to be the seven then. And that has to be the eight. Eight across here, eight down there, there's an eight. Kind of a, a, a bit of a quirky game, this, from The Guardian. Rather different from their normal kind of thing. This was one and five, so this has got to be a seven. Seven blocking across here and down there, there's a seven. Seven across here and there, and there's a seven. One more number to get there, it looks to be a three. Three up, three down. One blocking this square, one blocking this square. So in this row there's the one, there's the five. Five across to the end gives us five in that square. Five up here. Now if you remember we had three and five in those squares. So five now says that you cannot be a five. You must be a three and you must be a five. Three blocking down here, down there. That's now finished. How about the fives? Uh, no, we can't finish them yet. All right, what's left down here then? Two and something. Two blocking down there. There's the two. The last number there is a four. Four going up to the top. Up here, across there, there's a four. Four across this way, that way, there's a four. Four down. Oh, I didn't need that one. Four across there. That's all I needed. Didn't even need to do that. It was just the last number here. Four up here, four across there. There's our four. That's finished. Uh, three, no, not three, it's just five and nine, was it? Five and nine. Five and nine. One, six. Q, 
Okay, we don't have seven in this column yet. Seven blocks that square there. That's the only alternative left. Seven goes there. And the last digit for this column, uh, six, I think. Six across here, across there. And there's a six. Six blocking here. There we go. This is a one. Missing number in this column is a nine. Nine blocks across there. There's our nine. This would be five. That's a five there. Finished fives. And what's left to do? Uh, all right, let's see. Seven blocking up here, seven across there. There is our seven. And there's one more digit to find here, which I think is two. And two blocks across here, so there's a two, there's a one, one blocking that way, there's a one. This is a nine. Uh, and one is the last number in that row, one blocking down here. Yeah, quite a quirky kind of game from the Guardian this morning. Different from their normal patterns, I would say. Anyway, not insoluble. Quite quite good, actually. Uh, definitely made me think from the beginning and forced me along a particular path, which was quite interesting. That's it. Thanks for joining me. Uh, like I said, I will try and get more games out today. At least one more game. I'll try and get my, my regular three out if I can. I do have to go out and work today, though. All right, take care. Bye-bye.